Hi folks and welcome back. I'm in this gorgeous beech woodland today which is a, a small pocket of beech really in amongst a, a much bigger pine forest um, and uh, I'm here for the night. So I'm gonna have a little scout around, find a good place to set up. I've got uh, a tarp with me, that's what I'll be using for shelter tonight. Um, but because I'm in beech woodland, I just need to be a bit careful about where I set up. Um, need to check overhead, make sure there's no uh, large limbs that could fall. Beach has a bit of a reputation for um, dropping limbs without any warning. <laughs> uh, probably no worse than any other tree, to be honest. But, um, you know, you just got to be a bit careful. Looking around, there's already quite a few trees uh, that have fallen over, been blown over in the wind. They've got quite shallow root systems, beach, beach trees have. So um, they do tend to go over. There's no forecast for high winds tonight or anything but uh, I think it does pay to be cautious especially with trees that have fallen over but have got caught up in amongst other trees so uh, yeah I'll just steer well clear of those. Well, I think I found a good spot. It's uh, just on the edge of that uh, beech woodland, uh, which you can see behind me, um, just where it rejoins the, um, the pine forest again. So uh, best of both worlds, really. I'm gonna set my tarp up between that tree and that tree as a, an Adirondack lean-to. That way I'll get, get a little bit more protection from the sides. And um, I'm gonna point it towards the, the beech trees um, and I think that should be that should be pretty good. I'll have to clear all this lot here out of the way. There's a whole lot of spiky stuff. <laughs> so I'll get some gloves on and get clearing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, to be honest, it's a little bit close to these two trees. Um, if those two trees were further apart, I could have brought these kind of triangular wings down to the ground a bit more. As it is, the trees were right in the way on both sides. But um, it'll do the job, and it's got a kind of overhang at the front. Um, and uh, yeah, that should keep me dry and, and toasty tonight. I'm going to have a, a fire down just on the other side of this log here, um, so I can cook my, my dinner. So that's the next thing. I'm really starting to lose the light now. You can probably tell, I'm sure the, the picture is a bit grainy. But um, yeah, I need to get out and get some get some firewood. There's plenty about, so I'll go and gather some up before I lose all the light and I'm not stumbling around in the dark. But yeah, home from home. Should be enough to get me going and I've got all my smaller stuff over here to get it started. Well as you can see we've uh, pretty much lost the light completely now um, and uh, I think I've probably got enough firewood. I don't really want to be stumbling around in the dark trying to find more although there are a few nice bits quite close to, to where I'm set up so um, if I need them I'll get them but there should be enough uh, for what I need. I literally just need a fire to cook on and for a little bit of the evening maybe uh, the odd hot drink so um, yeah, it should be should be enough of that. Something to cook on. Well, the fire is lit, I've got my woolly top on, and all is good in the world. I'm going to get some dinner on shortly. Um, I've got chicken for dinner. I've bought a, a spatchcock um, chicken, small chicken. So uh, I'm going to cook that over the fire. It's sort of opened up, butterfly had opened up, so um, that uh, reduces the cooking time. And I'll just cook that sort of nice and high over the fire, and I've got some potatoes to have with it, so I'm um, really looking forward to that. I'm just going to let this... Um, build up a little bit this fire, get some good coals going on, get some good heat, and um, and then I'll I'll get that on. I'm actually starving, I missed lunch today. I had I had quite a big breakfast at home, and um, and I suppose I got out here at about one o'clock, and um, you know, was messing around a little bit, and 
I'm sitting in completely the wrong place. <laughs> now, the other thing I haven't had since breakfast is a drink. So I'm gonna uh, get some water on the go while that fire is building up. I'll have a nice cup of tea. Okay, here it is. There's a, a little chicken, or a, is it a poussin? It's called something like that, isn't it? But it's been sliced so you can open it right up. And I'm just gonna try and poke it onto this stick somehow. got another stick here which I'm going to go through and under to hold it kind of in place and stop it just flopping down if you see what I mean hopefully that'll work it should do shouldn't it right So I decided not to bring Maggie on this camp um, for two reasons. I, I would have really liked to have brought her, but um, firstly, this area, this woodland, this whole forest, this whole region um, is really bad for ticks. And um, there've been a lot of dogs getting ill and quite a few have died. Um, it's been all in the press um, and uh, I didn't want to take that risk with her. You know, she's she's got a a long thick coat as it is and just finding the ticks is is bad it's you know it's not easy to do um getting them out is is um is also a, a real challenge so um i didn't want to take that risk you know she'd be running around in the leaves and and in the bracken and stuff and she's bound to have picked them up so um that was the first reason secondly is um this is a new bit of woodland to me um i came up here briefly yesterday just to sort of suss things out and and um you know just have a little recce really um but uh you know Maggie likes to wander off um, you know she's a bugger for that she'll she'll run off and she'll be, she'll get herself lost there's a lot of wildlife in this woodland a lot of deer a lot of squirrels and things and she'd have just been after them you know if she she heard a noise she'd have just been gone and she doesn't come back when I call her <laughs> so um, yeah that would have just um, that would have just kind of ruined things really really for her and for me so um, yeah that's why ticks and uh, bad behavior
Well, while the chicken's cooking away, I thought I'd better prep the potatoes. I'm gonna fry the potatoes, Kent survival style -y. So I'm just gonna keep, cut them up into cubes. And um, I bought some uh, suet to fry them in. You can't beat these open L knives for uh, kitchen working camp. Um, you know, my big knife, my uh, my main bushcraft knife, is uh, is a brute of a knife, and it's got a really thick blade. And try and chop a potato with that. Well, you might as well get your axe out and just chop it with that, to be honest. But this, being such a thin blade, and they're razor sharp, they're just great for any chopping duties, any sort of cooking duties you might have in camp. And they cost very little. I think this one here was about seven pounds or something like that you know they hardly cost anything you can get them in carbon steel or in stainless this is a stainless one but um, both are good I bought my cast iron skillet to do the uh, potatoes in just because they cook so much better in cast iron than they do in my um, titanium plate come frying pan it's so thin you've got to be so careful with it but cast iron that's ah, just the way isn't it so I've got suet in here. I'm gonna use that as my fat. We are ready. Too bad, does it? <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Look at how juicy that is. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that was very good. Potatoes were delicious. I'll definitely uh, cook them that way in future. It's so easy. No peeling, just a bit of fat in a pan, chuck them in. <sighs> I needed that. Mm. I've chucked all the bones on the fire, they're uh, sizzling away and um, I guess there's plenty of fat still on the, still on the bones and they're kind of, um, it's giving off a good light, good flame.
I'm not going to bed just yet, but um, I just wanted to get it set up and get my sleeping bag in there so it can start to loft up a bit. Um, it's meant to be about two degrees tonight, I think overnight, so it's not that cold. Um, and I did um and ah about using my, my thinner sleeping bag. I've got a, um, a Lamina 35, it's a mountain, mountain hardware sleeping bag. And, uh, and the limit is um, two degrees, which is what it's gonna be tonight. So I did think, well, it'll be a nice test for it. <laughs> See how warm it is. But um, then uh, at the last minute I decided, you know what? I could end up being cold and having a, an uncomfortable night. So um, I know I've got other layers. I could have put other layers on and things inside my sleeping bag and, and stayed warm that way. But I thought, no, I'll just go with my with my warmer bag. And then I've got my Terra Nova bivy bag, um, which is actually a hooped bivy, but I haven't brought the pole with me because you can use it either with or without. Um, but I figured um, my other bivy bag hasn't got any netting or anything. It doesn't zip up. It's just a draw cord like your sleeping bag. Um, and I thought, well, it'd be nice to to sort of zip it up. That way at least I can keep any little creepy crawlies at bay and, um, and I'll be able to sleep soundly. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that should be just the job. I've also got my Thermarest Neo Air in there as well, which is just, well, that's just super comfortable. Well, I'm going to enjoy my hot chocolate. I'm nearly at the end of these now. I bought a load of these back from uh, from Sweden with me, and uh, they're so good. <laughs> I've not found anything in this country that comes close. They're really good hot chocolates. So I might just have to go back to Sweden soon, just so I can restock. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to finish my hot chocolate, and um, and then I'm going to think about turning in. It's uh, it's gone nine o'clock and um, I'm getting pretty tired, but I probably will have a, a read for a bit longer and, um, and then get some sleep. So unless anything eventful happens overnight, I'll see you in the morning. Good night.
Morning folks. I slept uh, really well, very peacefully, um, warm, cosy and um, very comfortable. I uh, woke up this morning at, um, I don't know, probably about six o'clock to the sound, the racket that the crows were making. I've never heard anything like it. <laughs> they just, uh, they obviously really like these beech trees and um, yeah, well, they woke me up anyway. So I've just made a cup of coffee. I'm just going to enjoy this and then uh, get some breakfast on the go. I, I didn't want to relight the fire as such this morning, so um, I brought my my new firebox, which I've been wanting to try out anyway. So I'm going to cook breakfast on the firebox this morning. We've got pancakes. So I've got the dry ingredients for my pancakes in here, and that's just uh, plain flour, baking powder, uh, dried milk powder. Um, what else? Sugar, a bit of salt. I'll put the um, recipe as normal in the uh, description box below. Um, so I just need to mix that with some water and then I've got an egg that I'll crack into it as well. And that'll be, that's the basic pancake mix. So just add enough water to make a, well, a normal sort of pancake batter mix really. It's quite runny. Mix it up in the bag and save the mess that way. Now there's a little bit of fat left in my pan from last night from the potatoes, but I did bring some more suet, so I'm gonna dump that in there as well, just so I've got enough fat. And then I'm gonna mostly close up the bag. So I've just got a small opening there that I can pour the, um, pour the batter out of. Mm. Well, they are good pancakes. That is so worth bringing a small cast iron pan or a skillet. You know, I know it's heavy. <laughs> you know, if I was walking miles and miles on a backpacking trip, I wouldn't want to take it probably, but it makes such a difference to what you can cook. The potatoes last night, I couldn't have done that in my titanium pan. It had just burnt. And likewise this morning, I've tried doing pancakes in that titanium pan before and they just stuck to it. But um, yeah, cast iron, it's the way to go. Look. Woo. 
Yes, boy. It's been a nice camp. It's been uh, well overdue getting out in the woods. Um, I've kind of made it my New Year's resolution to try and get out a bit more camping. Um, you know, I try and get out once a week as it is, but <clears throat> or I do do something once a week as it is. But um, you know, it's not not always possible to to get out and camp. You know, got a, got a family, and um, obviously you know there's other commitments. So, um, but I'm going to try and get out a bit more frequently and um, and have a camp. So uh, this is the first one of the year. It's been lovely. I'd also just like to say a big thank you for your subs. Um, and all your comments and, and thumbs up and shares, you know, it's really appreciated. The channel's growing fantastically. Um, you know, it was only a month ago, I think I did my 10,000 sub giveaway and I'm now pushing on for 13, so <laughs> it's just brilliant. Yeah, it's really good. So um, yeah, and it all helps. So cheers. Well, I better get packed up. Well, there we go, all packed up, and there's very little evidence I've ever even been here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.